Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Crossplit. I am super excited to have the opportunity to play this game again after we tried it at the Steam Next Fest. We had such a fun time with the story mode. But a new demo is available now on Steam as part of the Steam Strategy Fest. And this is a demo of the brand new uh, Tusk Tales mode, which is like a roguelite adventure mode. And this is the feature that I was most excited for from the game. So I'm really excited to be jumping in and giving it a try today. If you want to see more cross splits content when the game fully releases, or maybe more content of the demo, do consider subscribing and liking the video as it really helps us out. Anyway, let's jump into Tusk Tales. Super duper excited about this. I really loved the game uh, when it was the Fables mode, so uh, this should be a lot of fun. Greetings, I am awesome. That is my name. Pay attention as I explain things, all very important. This is the adventure map. Fancy, yes. Claim victory. You must defeat the big boss. To get, uh, get to this node, win the battle and become a hero, perhaps. Lose your health points or HP for short. If this hits zero, you lose. Not good. Win battles to restore some HP. There are other ways too. But you can figure those out on your own. These are battle nodes, see? The swords? Very scary. <laughs> Defeat the enemy on these spots to move forward and follow the arrows to pick a path. This is a tavern node. Thirsty, are you? There are many different types of nodes to uncover. I suggest you visit as many as you can. Or don't, it's up to you. All right, so we're getting started here. I, I love this map screen. This is like a mix of like the Slay the Spire map screen and um, a grid based map. This looks really sweet. Um, so we've got battle nodes and it shows us what enemy we'll be fighting. That's interesting. So we can strategize like the whole way, which is really sweet. And I'm guessing that when the game fully releases, there'll be multiple acts here, maybe? I don't know. This will be rest sites, choose a mercenary. Oh, so these aren't rest sites. We actually get to pick units here. This is a rest site. So we rest and acquire unexpected aids, whatever that is. Elite fights, cursed quarters, the private quarters of an infamous pirate captain. What's this? Prize Emporium, a peculiar establishment run by Shader Info Broker. So there's a lot of different titles. What's this? A relic at no cost. We definitely want to try and hit this node. What's this? Deadly battle. So wait, these are elites. Then what's this? There's like a sub boss. Supply Plaza. Add by a law Kuma. I want to go this way then. We get a starting deck. We start off with five pirate recruits. Three of the uh, Rush Dual Strike Cutlass Swines. And we start with Barrel Mutt. A pirate with Combat Start. Draw a random pirate minion from your deck. That seems really good. Combat Start? Triggers after pressing the Blitz button. Ah. Admiral Brass. Okay, tough. After you play a pirate minion, give it plus one and rush. Alright, so we've got a pretty decent pirate deck to start off with. This was a really fun archetype in the demo. We have one relic slot. It looks like the rest are locked. Let's just jump into a battle here. Oh, this game this game just looks fantastic. It still looks fantastic. I, I have missed this. I've been so excited. Uh, I've been so excited to start this. That was new. A prism gem. So maybe the person not going first gets extra energy. Interesting. Uh, so we have our mulligan here. I do like this as a top deck. And I like this. This is actually fine. Let's go with this. Awesome. Ready to battle? No? Well, too bad. Don't cry. I'll teach you the rules. These are your health points. HP. This hits zero, you lose. And that isn't good. <laughs> I love this guy. This is your opponent's HP. To win the battle, the peak list is zero. The opposite of losing. Victory! This is your mana. You need mana to play cards. You gain one extra mana each turn, increasing it to a maximum of ten. Oh, and re uh, it replenishes each turn. Wonderful, yes. Check the number displayed at the top center of your cards to see its mana cost. Very important. Cards contain important information. Pay attention. Top left of the card is the card's power, and that is how much damage it does when it attacks. Top right is the card's health. Cards have HP, just like you. There are also spell cards, and those don't have power or HP, only mana costs. This is your current hand. Drag cards to the board to play them. You can only play minion cards on the blue tiles. That's your side of the field. When you're done playing cards or out of mana, press this big button. The turn will end and you'll enter the combat phase. Alright, so we've done this all before. Um, if you want to see me play this game for the first time, you should check out the Crossblitz video we did. I'll try and pin that in the corner up there for you. Um, I really recommend it. It's one of my better videos. I really enjoyed playing it. All right, so we have two pirate minions. It doesn't really matter where we place them. Uh, one thing we got to remember is that if it's anything like the first demo, 
This row should be dedicated for melee units, and this row is dedicated for ranged units. I don't know if that's changed or not. I do notice some like visual improvements from the last time I played, which is fun. Right, let's go with this. Blitz. Nah, I remember they get like summoning sickness. God, I've been playing too much magic. Amber Egg. Inanimate. Black Defender. Can't attack. Triggers when destroyed. Summon an Ember Whelp. Ember Whelp. 2-2. Two -two. Alright, interesting. So, we still don't have enough mana to do anything else, so we should just play another minion. I can't move this, so... Blitz. I do think there will be cards you can move, though. We got a Hot Slime. Say 1-1. One, one. With death, deal 2 pyro damage to the enemy hero. We don't want that to die. I want to set up this Rush card. So let's do it. This is going to set us on a way to victory here. I should have placed it there, actually. Oh well, I didn't want 2, two pyro damage. Because I feel like damage is going to carry over. Oh, we win. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't. I completely forgot about this guy. Oh, that's a sweet animation. But we win. Easy peasy. Victory. Nice stuff, nice stuff. God, it's good to be playing this game again. We got some money, and we heal. Oh, and I see, if we have, like, max HP, we get some extra. That's interesting. Maybe we just get extra every fight anyway. Uh, Tuskar Locks. Fill your front row with doomed recruits. Don't know what doomed recruits are. Eight mana, too. Yikes. Got this. Add a rig beak to, uh, and a ship cannon to your hand. Ship cannons free, inanimate. After you summon a pirate, deal two damage to a random enemy minion. Two flying play, draw a pirate, then reduce the cost of all pirates in your hand by two. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take this. Seems like a good spell. Um, get another one, I guess. Another minion. Guard. Damage to your hero is half, rounded down from all sources. Hmm. Once it's damaged, summon a rotten spot on the opponent's side of the field. Death deal one damage to another random character. Interesting. Hmm. Let's try it. Can we get both of those? Interesting, we do. Alright. We're moving on to the tavern. Let's see what's here. Select a mercenary to recruit. Their team of cards will be re uh, added to your deck. Do I have to? I guess I do. So we can have... Oh, this is interesting. So we get to see some of the other tribes' cards here. Uh, we didn't get to see these in the demo very well, so it's nice to see them here. We get um, these demon guys. Demon, yes. Infinite Riff. Um, infinite Riff. Deal one draconic damage to a random enemy minion. Add a serpent song to your hand. Riff. A one-time effect triggered after you cast a spell card. Serpent song. Deal one draconic damage. Draconic and pyro damage plus two. I love this card. <laughs> Lifesteal. Damage. This minion deals also heals the controlling hero. Played. Deal two draconic damage to an enemy minion. Let's take this one. What are the others, though? This one... Um... Redeem three spells from another faction. Redeem. Choose one of three random cards to add to your hand. Cards offered are neutral or from your hero's faction. Interesting. Barrier. Engage the next damage this minion would take. Played. Add a blueprint to your hand. Interesting. Played. Redeem a golem minion and give it plus two plus two. Or a pirate leader? Yeah, pirates. Played. For the rest of the game, bombs deal format. Oh, it's bomb tribal. Oh my god. I'm loving that there's a bunch of different things here. Interesting. I have to pick one, I think. So I'd like to go for this Draconic one right now. Sweet. Lay down and die already. This seems really cool. I'm loving this. Trinket shop. Purchase new trinkets to equip to your party with gold. So... We need to select a card. We can give plus one... Uh, oh, we can upgrade our cards. Interesting. I would like to put cut the swine on here then. Give it... I mean, we already have... I would have liked this, but it's too expensive. Something like that. Wait, hold on. I can pick cards here. So I can't afford this plus two damage for one reason or another. I'm not sure why. Um, give something plus one health or give something swift strike. Mm. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I would have liked to give something more damage. 
Let's give Stella Swift Strike. Oh, it's 30, 30. I don't know why we can't have this. That's fine. Let's give it Swift Strike. Swift Strike means it hits first, right? Strikes minions without uh, taking return damage. So this is good because now when we deal damage, um, we heal ourselves and having it be on Swift Strike is a good idea. Oh, I see. We can buy more. It doesn't show us how much this is worth. I'm going to assume it was too expensive. Plus one health. Let's put it on Admiral Brass. Why not? And then we're done. Alright, so we can go for a hard fight into a relic, but we can also go for a regular fight into a relic. What is that relic they've got on them? Your minions that cost two or less have dual strike. Eesh. That seems scary. 22? Mm. I wonder if that gives us more rewards. Otherwise, we can do this guy. I'm not sure what they do. But I'd like to get this free relic, so let's go here. Let's not take the dangerous fight today. Alright, me hearties, let's fight. We go first and your opponent gets a prism gem. So it looks like if we don't go first, we lose damage. Um, let's bin one of these. And then it's been this, I'd like a one cost unit. Sweet. One, two, and another unit to play after. We've got a good turn order here. It doesn't really matter where we place our first unit, so let's just go here. Blitz. It's good to be back, boys. It's good to be back. Playing a pirate recruit himself. Known cards. Interesting. What's this? Bank to Glimmer. Glimmer. What's Glimmer? I'm not sure. I'm guessing... Wait, does this just mean they get more mana? I'm not too sure. I think we go for this. Strikes minions without taking return damage. Let's place it here as a blocker. Wait. Summon deal damage? Oh yeah, we can. We can choose where some damage goes. Let's do this. And it heals us. Sweet. That's so good. That's actually a really good card. Like, holy moly. Interesting. Let's blitz it. I don't mind this matching up with this because it has swift strike. At least I think that happens on not my turn too. Glimmer. I do think it gives them extra mana. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. Okay, so it's only on my turn that the Swift Striker plays. Interesting. So we get two damage on him. That's good. We've got a Serpent Song. Uh, since these are going to trade anyway, let's just get rid of this. And we have one mana left, which I can use to play a pirate. Blitz. Bam. Oh, Glimmer's like shield. Interesting. It's reducing the damage they take. Interesting indeed. Bank one Glimmer, draw one card. So it is just shield. I think so. Uh, this is going to help because we have Swift Strike. That's not good though. We don't want that. Alright, we're back. It's our turn. Got four mana banks this turn. I think I'm just going to go for the big damage. Or maybe I could go for the rig beak instead. This is pirate. Is not. Hmm. Ship cannon costs like a lot though, right? Costs free. Let's wait. Let's just go for this. Make sure we get our rush double strike value. This doesn't return damage. We heal. Then you match this. And we just deal a bunch of damage. That's amazing. Nice. I'd say this fight's going pretty well. Banking Glimmer again. This is annoying. <laughs> this Glimmer thing. Sludge. Triggers if you have X Glimmer. Interesting. Triggers after this card destroys a minion. Thunder. Gain plus two plus two. Splurge is gain rush. Interesting. So if they have two Glimmer, they can attack straight away. And if it kills one of my minions, which it's going to if I'm not careful. In fact, it is just going to. But no, it isn't because it this trades, I think. So let's go for the Rig Beak. If you summon a pirate, deal two damage to a random enemy minion. Let's just get this set up. And then we'll Blitz. And then next turn should be absolutely banging. 
Okay, okay, okay. Now if we summon a bunch of pirates, we're gonna just deal a ton of damage. Oh, that looks scary. Elder Goldswig. Hold on. After your glimmer is reduced from damage, deal that much damage to a random enemy minion. Plunder. Summon a barrel belly brute. What's good here is that we they don't have any glimmer, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this and reduce stuff. And this cannon's gonna fire. And then this is free. Oh, uh, it's all coming together now. Oh no, it's over for them. It's over for them. <laughs> it's over. Blitz. We're gonna get pirate cards drawn as well. Pretty sure, wait, if we draw our last card, don't we like lose or something? We take damage, I remember, yeah. If we draw our last card, we start taking damage. Let's be careful. Why didn't this one? Oh, this one did trigger. Interesting. So, um, yeah, y'all are in trouble. Um, <laughs> oh no. Blitz. <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. This is, this is amazing. This is just like, this is why I love this game. It's so nicely put together with all the synergies and stuff. <laughs> and this is just one thing. This, this demo is going to be a treat. This is going to scratch an itch I've had for a long time. I've been trying to write a blog, by the way, off of the channel. And this is a bit off topic here, but I've just like, I've been really creatively like dead lately. I, I don't know. This is, this is helping out. I like making the videos and I need to keep making them, I think. I'm sorry that I've not had an upload in a while. I've just been going through a bit of a creative identity crisis, I guess. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Pyro and Mada, for the rest of the game, transform your ship cannons into Pyre Cannons. Pyre Cannon? After you summon a pirate minion, do two pyro damage to a random enemy minion. Interesting. And it has damage on it as well. What's this? I don't know. Interesting. I mean, we're not really doing cannon stuff. We've got like one cannon card. We need to be careful how many cards we're adding. Plus 25. Oh, I see. This is just the rewards we get. Interesting. Hot head. If an enemy a un if an enemy minion occupies this column, attack it. And played, deal four damage to a minion. Interesting. That seems like a good card. This has riff on it. Shoot Morty cannonballs that deal six power damage from your cannons. It can target the enemy hero. Interesting. I want to go for this hothead. Oh, we could we pick one from one each like thing. I see. Add three serpent songs to your hand. Reduce their cost by one. Seems very useful. Oh, that's that's a board wipe. I'm taking that. We need board wipes. God, you're giving me a lot of like units. I have to take them too, right? There's no skip button. Is there a skip button? I don't think there is. I think I just need to keep taking. That's interesting that we can't skip these. Store four health to your hero. Do two power damage to the enemy hero. Let's take a hot slime. It's interesting that you can't skip the card rewards. Your pirate minions have one power. After you cast your first draconic spell, draw a card. At the start of your turn, add a bloody resurrection to your hand if you don't have one. I'm going to go for the pirate tribal line. Alright guys, I'm going to pause the recording real quick. I will not be long. And we're back. I'm sorry about that. I had some stuff to sort out, but I am back. Uh, yeah, we're going with the pirate line. <laughs> Your deck's getting really full. I wonder if, like, you're just always forced to take things? If you approach a cozy campfire, what would you like to do? This art is magnificent, man. <laughs> we can get, re we can remove cards here. Or forge a shield. I'm get guessing that's going to give me, like, some glimmer. We could remove something. I'm not feeling the rotten slime. I think I'm going to get rid of the rotten slime. Boom. It's gone. <laughs> That's sweet. I like that. Right, moving on. Battle against the bomb cat. I like the little mouse cursor too. Everything about this game just makes me smile. <laughs> I think this is my favourite deck builder coming up. This is a good hand. I hate this. I like having a nice curve. One, two, three. And he has plus one power. This makes this insane. Holy moly. Yeah. We're, we're cooking, we're cooking. That's what they got. You got two mana on turn one, and they're gonna use one to cast a pirate. 
And I got another pyro, of course I have. Alright. This is bad. Um, I need this dual strike damage to go through, so what I'll do is I'll play this here. Yes, because then it dies. I wish I could swap them around. If it dies, then if they do summon something, it will die as well. Sorry about that. We're back. It seems everything went according to plan. Um. Okay, so... What's this got? Plunder, deal 2 damage to the next minion in the column. Because after this card destroys a minion. I'm just going to play this. This is... This is column, this is row. Okay. I had to remind myself there for a second. I'm just having this here to tank this damage. What's going on then? After... Oh, I didn't even read that. After another friendly minion takes damage, gain one armor. Interesting. And that's different to Glimmer How? I'm not sure. Right, I'll probably play this Hothead here. Played, deals 4 damage. Yeah, sure. We'll just do it. 4 damage. Okay, sweet. Blitz, and then our big big card is ready. And they, they are top deck. No, they're not top deck. They got 3 cards. Never mind. Okay, we've, t we've got a bomb in our deck, that's not good. If we draw that, we take damage. Okay, we're fine. Um, I would love to play my speedy card. And you know what? Let's just get rid of this. Oh, it's one. Oh, I thought it was two. Silly me, silly me. Bomb. We deal six. That's good, I need to get my life linker out next turn. See what we can do here. Rush flying. When this minion deals damage, add a bomb to that deck. That's really good. <laughs> oh no. Thing about bombs is if we draw one, we can just draw another. Ooh, that's good. Um. Okay. Rush this in. Play this. Deal damage to that. It dies. I'm 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 cooking now. We're cooking. All right, we're in good stead. Just a little longer. Let's see what this is. If another friendly minion takes damage, gain armor. I think we're good. I want this one to attack first, though. I wonder if because it has rush, it attacks first. Let's just play this. So something's there, and then this should be GG. Yeah, totally. Good game. Right, and it's done. I'm being texted like crazy, it's kind of annoying. I'm just gonna focus on getting this run finished. Alright. Get to add more cards and we don't get a choice in the matter. Um this is good. Just a one mana deal damage to something. Yes please. In plus one draconic damage. Um add a serpent song to your hand. Interesting. We gain this? I guess we just gain it permanently. Okay. Lifesteal again. Play discard two random cards. Mm. Riff one damage. Gain plus one draconic damage. Add a serpent song to your hand. We'll take the draconic, uh, the concert craze. And this is pretty good. I'll take another pyro slime though. Alright, moving on. Forge a shield is probably the correct thing here, unless we really want to get rid of something. Hmm. I'm gonna forge a shield. Gives me five armor. Okay. I bet Glimmer doesn't persist between battles, but armor does. Alright, we have a boss fight. What's this guy got here? What's this? After a friendly pirate dies, revive it as a doomed recruit. I do not know what a doomed recruit is, but I guess we're going to learn. I will say this demo is going to be a great way to learn about the game. I go first. My opponent gets a prism gem. I wonder if it's seeded so that I always go first. Um, I don't care for this. I guess I can keep that. Hmm. No one drop. Do draw a card. Hit 
That's not what I needed. Okay, annoying. Let's see what our opponent does here. Rock. Okay. He's going to play a Buccaneer. There's a 1-1 one, one with Tuff. Okay, at least we can play something here. Every, every source of damage deals one less. So let's go with plus one to Draconic damage here. And then this can take a hit from here. Could be good, unless he gives it some power. Another tough unit here. And then it's gonna come back as a doomed recruit. Is that the skeleton guy? Yes it is, it's a 1-1. Alright, I understand now. So we can play the Draconic Craze, but I think what we're going to do is get our 6 damage here as soon as possible. And he has to respond to that. So let's just Blitz. Doom. Doom. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage here from that 1-1. One -one. I love this card's artwork. This looks really good. Alright, you're also rushing in something. They're gonna trade, right? Yeah. Pow pow. But he does get a Doom's Recruit from the exchange. Good thing we've got this armor. So we don't get the extra Draconic damage anymore. So I think what we're gonna do is gonna cast Concert Craze here. Oh, actually, what I can do... It's still two. Yeah, so we can do this and hit the this thing. And then... Concert Craze. We gained plus one to our uh, Draconic damage, and this should be good. Let's see what we can do here. Going to play a Barrel Mutt. So luckily our damage isn't returned here, so we do have that dealt with. And this is two Draconic damage now on a card. He's going to draw a card, he's going to deal some damage to my armor. That's fine. Okay, we have a hot shot unit. This is good. So we can play this and deal four damage to you. Such a good card. Oh my god. And then we will just play our unit here and try and open up a path there. Let's cures that. And we're good. We just have to gain material and take away our opponent's material. Jolly Bombers here. Put some bomb into our deck. And another Barrel Mutt. That's problematic, but again, this, this trades with it pretty nicely here. And we can use Draconic Damage to just fully get rid of it. This Jolly Bomber's a problem. Trade here. Friendly Pyro Tires. Ooh. That's just free Pyro damage. So... This takes care of you. This takes care of you. And then this is good to go here, so we can block these two sources of damage. We're gonna draw a card, we're gonna take out this unit. Nice, it's the good one. They have how many cards in hand? I don't actually know. I'm sure it said it somewhere. Four, now he got five. What's that? Someone a ship cannon behind this minion. Oof, scary. That's really quite bad. I need to take care of that ship cannon. Alright, this is still dealt with. What I can do is I can Draconic this. I can Draconic this and then our Double Striker takes care of the cannon at the back. Good, so... Draconic this. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Mm, well, let's just place this here then. And then this here. Blitz it. Just try and get this fight over quickly. That cannon's really bad though. That needs to go. Because this wouldn't have done much. It would have just gotten rid of the 1-1. One -one. This is good though. He's playing another. Hopefully it hits this. No, it hit my important unit. That's really bad. Hmm, we're in trouble. Not good. Death clings to us. 
Alright, if we draw the rush door striker again, we win. And uh, that's not good. Oh no. So we play this. We play this. And then I'll we'll play this here, just in case it does hit this. It does not. Alright, this is strange. I'm in a bit of trouble here. Five damage to all minions. Just all minions? Yikes. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Uh, what was that? <laughs> oh no. That was a lot of bombs. We might be in trouble. Grog. Hmm. Alright, we're probably going to die. What was that? But we didn't draw a bomb, which is impressive. Just blitz it. We're just waiting for death now. Oh dear. Oh no. Uh, this fixes this a little bit. But I, I just, I have the fear that we just die to... Oh no, we just die to um, bombs. There's one. Four damage to me. There's another. I found that they usually tend to line up nicely for them. And we die, okay. Well, that's one way to go out. Oh, well. We've been defeated on our very first run of cross splits. Okay, well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. This is very interesting. I'm so excited to jump into this again. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.